Okay, so last day of Michelet for the season. Uh, we're doing Michelet 13-4, not in sequence because um, I think I want to do another puzzle about laziness. <laughs> and also <clears throat> because we we've been talking about laziness, then it should be a shorter analysis today, maybe. Um, okay, so Miss Ava Vaayan Nafsho Atzel the Nefesh Harutzim to Dushan. Not the easiest translation. Anyone want to take a stab? Desire. Yeah. He desires the iron. Everybody doesn't Yeah. So literally uh, is and and is not right uh, or there is not. <clears throat> um, nafsho atzel. It's going to sound grammatically awkward, by the way. But uh, his lazy soul. Yeah. Um, okay. So I guess. I guess you can, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, we can disagree about whether, I know we can disagree. <laughs> there, there's a difference between whether Otzel is a noun or an adjective. I think it's a noun, okay? But uh, Nafsha Otzel, his soul is lazy. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, his soul is lazy, right? Or you could say, how do you say it? His lazy soul. His lazy soul. His soul is lazy. Yeah, I guess that's the same thing. All right, fine. All right. The Nefesh Harutim Tidushan. And the soul of... You know what is? I don't know how it's related to charet or charat. Do you know what charat means? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the uh, the only pasuk I can think of where it says that in Chumash, I don't know if it's the only one, is v'lo uh, Oh, bark. Yeah, it's the bark. I don't think it's related to that though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't think it's so. The soul of the diligent. Okay, that's the common. Um, Translation of the Harutim, uh, Tidushan. Deshen is, uh, is a word that is used for that, right? Like a uh, Yerbim Deshen Besecha or... Uh, or uh, oh, from the song. From the song, yeah. <laughs> well, it's actually from a Pasuk, but... No, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. What song are we playing? It's, a, it's Tehillim. No, it's, 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 a, it's a pairing of Tehillim. <laughs> um, I think when it's... Yeah, I mean, it's from this world. It's from that, I think, right? You mean me, 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 uh, I think I, 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 I got it. I got to see that. Yeah, Ms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's that Ms. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this Deshe, but it is related, though. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. What was it? I don't know how to do anything. Okay, so you could, you could look at the cheat and look at the Matsu's uh, Tion. Schumann. Fat. Fat. Yeah. Uh, will become fat. Okay, now you got to get out of your Western mentality here of thinking, oh, fat, bad, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, fat, good. Okay, right. Okay, so uh, Mitsustion says, Harutim uh, is Zerizim, right? So um, I translate it as diligent, uh, alacritous, which is not a word, but like people who have alacrity. Um, all right, Tadigon says, Ha'atzel, uh, hold on here, the lazy person, um, uh, Ha'atzel, Nafsho Misave, his soul, um, Desires. Yeah, you know what? There's a better word than desire. I mean, you could use desire is totally fine. Um, but like you have another word for uh, taiva? Um, no. No, but that really refers more to the, the object. Yeah. So I, I think a better word that captures it is uh lusts. Because it's more like an instinctual desire. Like, you know, you, sometimes it's used for like higher desires, but like you don't say like like if you want if you say like I want to uh, to go to school. You don't say I'm Miss Ave, you know, uh, go to school, right? Instinctual, yeah, yeah. Yeah, soul, lust, the in muma, and has nothing. The nefesh haharutim, but the soul of the diligent. Uh, uh, no, I think that's my typo. Tidushan uh, will be fattened. Yeah, all right, fine. So I, I don't really see the difference between. Yeah. This, uh, well, I think he's giving us punctuation, though. No? He is doing that. He's definitely making the semantics smoother. Uh, he's also saying that the atzel is a noun, not an adjective. The lazy person, as opposed to his soul is lazy. That's right. How are you in, in our translation? And there is not his soul is lazy? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, and there is... Sorry. Yeah, so, so if you make this semantically make sense, you would say um, the lazy person's soul desires... Right, uh, and there is not. Uh, let's just say less. Okay. Um, 
and there is not, but the soul of the diligent will become fat. Yeah. And there is not. Yeah. Okay. Right. Or there's not, or you could say there is nothing. Right. Okay. Um, not me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, targum Kasuvim is a little weird. Okay. Car targum says misragraga. Okay. This is a good word to know. Ragag. You know what ragag is? Oh, is it? What? What? Not a so <laughs> ragag is to desire to long uh, or to covet uh that's the ramban's theory about why it's called an esrog i think because esrog is like a desirable like the desirable fruit um yeah uh so misragraga nafshe so the soul uh da'atla, the soul of a lazy person uh let's just say lust right again midam uh and now midam i had to look up okay um midam means uh something or anything okay so he's learning it less for something below my say law but doesn't uh uh bring it yeah literally doesn't bring it or doesn't like like um yeah i'm just gonna say bring it because my is uh bring it okay the naf shehun did this is a weird thing naf shehun did takife what does takif mean uncle's people should know this uh it could be used that way yeah Takif or Tokif is mighty or strong. Yeah, right. So I, I don't know why he says Harut is strong, but that seems to be a different thing. Um, uh, but the soul of the strong or powerful, let's say powerful, of the powerful Tidhan, which I think just is a translation of, uh, well, actually, I should look it up. I just didn't have time to look that up. Um, let's see here. Dahan. Dahan. Dahon, <laughs> dung, no, oh, fattening substance. Okay, fat, I'm just gonna say it's fattening, yeah. Uh, we'll, so dung? don't know what's going on there. All right, yeah, all right. So then we have art scroll that says, the soul of the sluggard lust and has nothing, but the soul of the, the diligent will be fattened. Okay, that's close enough to ours. Living Knox says, a lazy man craves, craves is another good word for time out, right? It's more yeah. intense desire, uh, yet has nothing, but the diligent man prospers, okay? Um, that's like uh, that you know, Yeshurun became fat and kicked. doesn't mean that Israel became like fat. It means that they were successful. And Alter says, he desires and has not the sluggard, but the life of the diligent thrives. So thrives is another uh, um, uh, good, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, idiomatic uh, translation uh, and he says literally is luxuriant opulent okay yeah well, that's going on, right? yeah yeah okay so um so let's uh no, but seriously like um is this obvious I, I i think it's so funny it's so funny oh you think it is obvious yeah okay good because yeah. right. well, what is going on here it sounds like you're saying i have no idea what's going on here yeah. well what i mean to say is like there has to be a deeper explanation. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. What's going on. All right, so let's try to accelerate our uh, our uh, uh, assessment right. because we only have one day, right? Yeah. So what are the main questions? Um, yeah, the main question is, is it's... Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Ezra, go ahead. Um, why does he have nothing? Why does the lazy person have nothing and the intelligent person, why will he become fat? Okay, and the person. diligent person become becomes quality. fat. Yeah. And like, what... Like... If he lusts for something, isn't the lust that he has for something bad? Wait, I mean, versus, versus like the second half of the positive where the diligent person, it seems like like if the diligent person does lust for something, he will. Okay, so I think this is a good question here, which is that what role, if any, okay, does Tava play uh, with the diligent person? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, in other words, like, is it implying that he, that the lazy person lusts and has nothing, but the diligent person lusts and gets something. like a, abundance, or does it imply that he doesn't even lust at all? I think there's a major question though here. All right, give us a minute. Yeah. Why is it out of order the first half? Why is the Miss Ava Vain Nasha Atel as opposed to Nasha Atel Miss Ava Vain? Or is it like Miss Ava Nasha Atel Vain? I think that's just a um, either a poetic thing or like you find that a lot initially where it will put the predicate before the subject. Okay. You know, I think that's just a, a, a Hebrew proverbial style. Yeah. What is the lazy guy lost thing? Okay, that's a that's a good question. Okay, which is um, no, not the major question. Uh, so let's just let's just put this all into time. Okay, what 
is the nature of the lazy person's tava. Okay, um, what um, is he is he lusting for? Okay, um, yeah, um, let's, yeah, let's split that into two. Uh, why? Oh, no, that, that we said that already. Yeah, uh, Ezra? Is, is there, why is there like his soul? Is that his That's soul? the question. Okay, right? <sighs> why, why does this Pasuk focus on the soul, right? I mean, soul is not something that would seem to be relevant to laziness and diligence. Right. I mean, that's just a, it's a character trait, right? So, so what, what does nefesh even mean in this context? Okay, and I think that's, that's the main question. And, it's in, and oddly enough, it's in both halves. So you know it's a theme of the puzzle. Yeah. Um, the, in our definition of a lazy person... Yeah, hold on just one second. I, I just want to do a... Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot, Ayala, but do you remember the definition of laziness according to Sadiagon? Is it when you're thinking about short-term pleasure over long-term? Like uh, you're very close prioritizing on short-term pleasure? Closer. It's not about pleasure. Gain? No. Sorry. I was asking Mayla. All right, fine, whatever. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Muzzle yourself. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, okay, you want to say it? You can say it now. Go ahead. No, no, you say it, you say it. <laughs> so the uh, compulsive need to avoid all immediate pain and frustration. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. Anyway, so, so that, that's our definition of uh, of uh, of laziness. So with, definition of laziness. Yeah. So with that definition. Yeah. Um. What is he lusting? <laughs> I mean, like, like is he lusting something that will give him pleasure? Or presumably. Something that will. Avoid well, pre presumably. I mean, taiva is so that is also the Simon's definition of taiva is um, compulsion to obtain every immediate uh, pleasure. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. which is a hint yeah. yeah um okay we also have to ask what is the definition well i'll put both in what are the definitions of uh atzel and harutz in this context okay, even though we already said the the atzel one okay let's start to try to figure it out now because i think those are the main questions and we have only one day instead of two days when i mean moves <laughs> that's okay <laughs> You know, it's not like Michelin teaches you impulse control or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only problem. It's not, it's not well. Yeah. What do you think? Can you zoom out a little bit more? It's a little too small. You mean zoom in? Zoom in, yeah. Oh, <laughs> also, there's a. There's a in our translation, uh, yeah, so uh, ah, thank you. Some fat or I'll say prosperous. <sighs> well, is it is it the soul of the? I mean, is that is that multiples? Yeah. So th this is a thing which I feel like it comes up a lot in Monday night here, but not so much here. Uh, which is um, initially we'll often use a singular in one half and a plural in another half, and there's no explanation for it. Okay, some mafarshim try to explain it in individual cases, but it's not consistent. You know, for example, like like uh, I used to have a working theory which was disproven uh, as a universal, which is that uh, that it will um, use a singular for a chacham or a tzaddik and plural for the rishayim because. Uh, perfection is always going to be narrower than imperfection. There are many ways to be imperfect, right? Uh, that's high entropy low. or low entropy. I always forget which one's which. When, like, they're, like, if you shuffle a deck of cards. Low entropy is very ordered. High entropy is not ordered. Okay, so high, so, so rishus and foolishness is high entropy. Yeah. There's many, many, many variants and it, there's like lots of ways to go off the path. There's, there's only one type of, of right. perfect circle, like but there are many entropy. imperfect circles or, yeah, exactly, you know? So, um, but then you'll see another possible where Sadiqim is is plural and Russia is so I don't think there's any consistent theory on uh, on that. So I, I I tend to ignore those questions unless you and if you can come up with an, an explanation that like is not an icker but a nuance, then great. Yeah. Uh, I think I've done. Okay, good. Okay.
Um, maybe you could say that at a certain level, having lust for something is, is a good thing. Okay. Obviously, it has to be like controlled and moderate. Yeah. But that's kind of like your drive. That's like that's like what gets you going in terms of like you know finding like success, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But yeah, he, it, what? Did you say not Gandhi? I said Belkan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, not not Gandhi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I mean is like like a, a lazy person, a guy like him, like he's so lazy that like even like the drive for lust won't get him to succeed because like like lust is a very strong desire right. or strong whatever in, uh, impulsion to do whatever for your life, but at the end of the day, like like his whole psychology is inhibiting him from even doing that. The most human basic instinct that gets you going. Uh -huh. like, okay, so I, I agree with what you're saying. I just want to quickly modify something here. I don't think Taiva is used for like a drive to work or succeed. I think Taiva is an instinctual desire. So if you can, but I, I think what you're saying is true about lazy person. Maybe you can tweak it to be uh, about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, uh, it's the, the Taiva for what you want is the, is the, um, it's like the first step to. So, okay. Yeah. That's so, right. 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 So, so in other words, the guy wants success so he can make money so he can buy like food or buy like satisfies Taiva's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Good. Yeah, that, that's good uh, for the first half, yeah. I'm a bit of a different, uh, not full explanation, but totally opposite of what Ari was saying. Okay, and by the way, before you say yours, I'll just, just to get people's gears turning here, I would focus on the nefesh then, because nefesh is the outstanding feature of the puzzle. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine, that's fine, yeah. Um, I want to, maybe the point is that, um, you see that the Pasuk says a lazy person lost, but then he has nothing. Yeah. But then the diligent person doesn't say anything about him desiring, but he right. just is diligent. Right. So it's like the lazy person, when you, when you're lazy, you're going to lust for things, which is like sort of like uh, an instinctual desire. And you're still, you're not going to be able to satisfy it. And you're just going to pretty much be in pain. Right. But the diligent person isn't lusting for things. He's not like having impulsive desires. And he's just, he's going to become prosperous with just, thinking and doing what's right. Okay, so that's a good reading of the Pasuk. The question then would be, um, why not? Why will he not uh, lust for things, right? Why? Yeah. Well, whole, whole, I mean, ultimately, lusting for something is generally, as I said, an instinctual thing. Right. Just more like short-term pleasure, but it doesn't yeah. end up giving you long-term happiness. Okay. He's not, he's going to see through that. The, 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 okay, so let me just set up the methodological next step here, which is um, the way you phrased it, then it's really highlighting two differences between the, the Atzel and the Haruks. One is the fact that he has Taiva and the other is the fact that he doesn't get it. And then the, the, the Haruks doesn't have Taiva and uh, is, is, is fatty. So the methodological move would be, you know, presumably each person is telling us a unified idea. So if you can seek unity, like, can you account for the fact that, that the quality of, of Nafsho Atzel has these two negative effects and the, the quality of Harrods doesn't. I think you're like, you're on your way there. I'm just like stating it the step, yeah. So maybe, well, as we said, a lazy person only looks for, avoids short-term pain or looks for short-term pleasure as opposed to long-term. Yeah. So by definition, he's gonna lust for things because they're, the, they're more short-term pleasures. And that by definition is gonna cause you to have nothing as opposed to if you don't, if you see the long-term, then it's going to cause you a to not have taiva or like not at least not have it really strong and then also to become prosperous because you don't okay so so um let me just make one move here just based on the definitions we have so far just to uh question what you're saying i don't know if you are i don't know which side of this you're going to fall out on the way i see it is that the Atel is really worse off than the baltaiva in terms of uh frustration and desire because the baltaiva will be tempted by immediate pleasure and he'll go for it. Now he might get consequences of it, but he is satisfying his immediate desires, right? So like there is that. I think the lazy person is not satisfying his immediate desires because to satisfy your immediate desires would require taking steps that involve immediate pain. And when the Atzel has a choice between going for the immediate desire at the cost of immediate pain or refraining from the immediate desire because of the pain, he's gonna refrain. So my question for you is like, you, you had stated in terms of your description of the Atzel that he is going for immediate pleasure as well. And I, let me, let me back up, sorry. I don't know what question I'm asking. Uh, what I'm saying is I think the puzzle is highlighting is the fact that everyone, okay, everyone 
would love it if you could get consequence-free immediate pleasures, right? <laughs> the problem is that there are consequences and the problem is that getting those pleasures entails frustration and pain. So what it's describing here is, is that the Atta is gonna be in a state of conflict because he has these taivas, but any step, any, any way of getting towards the taivas would involve taking a step that's gonna be immediate pain, which by the way, I, I, can't, I couldn't figure out why we, um, why we did this process. I think we did this last year, uh, not this year. Um, this is one of my favorite um, psukim in the category of, uh, of um, oh no, so we did it last year. It was in 19. Yeah, Taman Atal Yad, so this is in the category of hyperbolic psukim, like exaggeration. Taman Atal Yada Batalakas, Gam El Pihu Lo Yashivena. The lazy person puts his hand in the dish of food and he doesn't even return it to his mouth. Okay, right? <laughs> so that's actually, no one is so lazy that they have a bag of chips and they put their hand in and they're like, oh, I can't, you know, right? But, it, but that's, the, uh, <laughs> that's the imagery that like, Putting your hand into the bag doesn't take any effort, really, right? Because it's it, gravity's on your side, right? You know, your hand is just going down. But putting it back to your mouth takes effort, and it's saying that he's not going to be able to do that. <laughs> what was that? I said I do that for a different reason. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't want to get my hands dirty. Like, yeah, because because I, I, mean, I know I'm going to eat the chips anyway later. <laughs> and like, like, I just keep it in there. <laughs> 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 that was funny. But not because I don't want to eat. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I mean, you're going to eat the chips in two minutes anyway. Like, well, I'll take it. Because I don't want to ruin the. <laughs> All right, maybe that's practical. Maybe that's genius. Or maybe it's foolish. I don't really know. Um, but. Uh... <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, but th this is highlighting a similar quality, which is, the, the point of this is that that he wants the pleasure, but the, the little amount of pain that it takes to like obtain the pleasure, he is not willing to do, you know? Um, so I think our Pasuk, the first half of our Pasuk, so I, I don't know if this is in line with the way you're taking or a different approach. I think just modifying what I was saying to what you were saying right sure. there, about how he doesn't even go for the desires that Mm -hmm. I just wasn't thinking right. about how the lazy person isn't even going to go for that. Yeah, and I think that is a critical move here, that that at that crossroads of get immediate pleasure at the cost of immediate pain, or don't get immediate pleasure to avoid immediate pain, that's the definition of a lazy person. He's not going to go uh, try to get that pleasure, and therefore, he's going to be in a state of conflict, because he wants stuff and he can't get it. This is why I always like... Um, uh, just to engage in a side, not rant, a side lamentation, uh, I feel so sorry for people who were, who train themselves to be lazy throughout high school, okay? And then finally they, they get motivated in college and they, they want to do stuff and they can't. Like, like they've, they've, they've I, that's actually another Pasuk. Um, uh, I forgot if we did this last year also. I feel like we did. Um, uh, hold on just a second. Timiseno, Timiseno. Um, Tavas Ha'atzel, we did that this year, apparently. Yeah? Okay. Tavas Ha'atzel Tamiseno ki me anu yadav The The lust of the lazy person kills him because his hands refuse to act, right? There we said that if you've habituated yourself into instinctively avoiding immediate pain and frustration, then you're going to die, not like literal death, but in the world of Taiva, you're just going to be sitting there desiring and, and, and being in pain. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna okay. Yeah. Yeah. So by the way, I'm talking myself into, uh, again, I'm sorry, this feels weird to like be developing an idea this early, like, but you know, again, I, I want to try to like, uh, you know, <laughs> usually I don't interject this early, but, um, but, uh, nefesh, what would you say nefesh means based on the way we've been taking it so far? I mean, yeah. Try yeah. I mean, it's like intrinsic to his nature. Like which nature of, of both of, i mean even though the format is different for the two yeah um it's kind of like it feels in the first half it's like like uh i'm like less of her but i just can't do it like my soul is is that of a lazy person and even though i desire all these things on the outside like i i'm just so cool what, what i'm asking is what part of the human being is being referred to as nefesh here do you think yeah i think it's onto something yeah right? it's like, I, I do also but yeah. what I don't like the animal brain. Yes, the animalistic part. Okay, right. So th this is again in the classic. Uh, I know Rebbe has a share on this, but you know there are there's a a, a, a club of Rishonim. Uh, I, I picture them being in a club with the same view of uh, the soul, which is Rabbeinu Yona, Ibn Ezra, Rabbeinu Bachia, Ben Asher. 
I don't know who else is in the club, that they say that uh, there's nefesh, ruach, and neshama. Nefesh is the animalistic part. Ruach is the psychological, like, uh, like you know, ego-based uh, desires. And then neshama is the intellect. So whereas, let's say you have the Rambam in the Mishnah Torah, where he seems to say that nefesh is by default going to be the intellect, you know, and even the Rambam agrees that you have to learn it based on context. This, I think, is saying the animalistic soul. And it's saying that laziness and diligence are qualities of the animalistic soul. So we can understand that about laziness because we're saying that he has, like, again, <laughs> pleasure and pain is one of the, is the most basic part of the animalistic desires, but a lazy person has trained his pleasure pain principle to recoil from immediate pain to the point where he can't even get the titles, you know? So I think we have a really good explanation for the first half, okay? And I think we have partial explanations for the second half. Let's just try to develop the second half and then like unify the thing. Because we said, because just going based on what Ezra was saying, the guy in the second half, so Ezra was saying that the, that the guy in the second half is going to, to not have taifas. That's one road to take. The other way road to take is he'll have taifas and he'll satisfy them. And I think both those have potentials, yeah. I, I, I like the side that says that he does have taifas mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm just going back to what it started off with. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, everyone, everyone has taifas. It's just a matter of, like, how you use them. Right. Like, what you do with them to... Yeah, it's a drive. It's a drive to further your own right. success. Right. You know, yeah. yeah. So I think the the uh, so everyone has Taiva, right? Yeah. But I, I yeah. I'm not saying that he doesn't have Taiva right. at all. He's just like so to say smarter than than trying to satisfy all of his media types. Yeah. Right. So I, I think that's going to be the question here. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that like a, a diligent individual will be very, very strict with what he wants to accomplish and mm -hmm. he can't foresee, you know, future, uh, future long-term right. gains that will um, kind of like, you know, yeah, exactly. Make, yeah. Make, yeah. It feels like a workaholic, like a chalutz is just a person who like likes to distract themselves by working hard, um, but doesn't really take into account. Like, isn't necessarily diligent with their time. Isn't like a lot of for what's important. More just like if I'm working, I'm productive. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of person that will organize their entire kitchen and, and not take care of their family marriage. So the, the only reason that I would uh, so it's fine because I gave that as an episode uh, episode. I gave that as a uh, an example yesterday of um of it's that is a form of laziness. Okay, why? Because you're, let's take the marriage example, right? Is that if you're just uh, working or organizing and trying to avoid the immediate pain of like facing the problems in your relationship, that is laziness going to side you go. And even though it would be productive according to society's definition, right. you know? So, and so, I, and I think that our Pasuk is uh, going to be stating the second half as a, as a positive, as a type of perfection rather than as an imperfection. Yeah, there's yeah. like one quote from Dave Rams, I don't know if you know. Not the Al Karnak, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like it says, live like no one else now, so that you live like no one else later. Live like no one else now, so that you live like no one else later. And living like no one else, meaning that you're doing stuff that no one else is yeah, doing. Yeah, they, they yeah. this whole thing is total money makeover, like getting rid of debt, you know, uh -huh, living like uh -huh. a very frugal life. I see, right? So yeah, in the future you can save up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, yeah, yeah, that's good. So okay, so 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 what we're what I'm getting here is that everyone has tivas, right? Um, in the sense of immediate desires, but the Harut will, will first of all, be able to satisfy them, but he's going to go beyond that and set himself up for a future thing. I still don't feel like this is unified, though. In, what, well, in, in, in other words, is the first half of the puzzle is about Tava and laziness, okay? okay. The second half is clearly about the opposite of laziness. I don't see how the Tava fits in, and I would really like to see like this stemming from one quality. In other words, it shouldn't be saying two ideas about the odds, the differences between the odds and the harots. It should be saying one idea. Can I try to yeah. work on together? Sure. Um, maybe the nefesh, or like what you were saying, the animalistic desire. So saying the lazy person has those desires and that's his focus. His focus is on the desires and like then he won't satisfy it and he'll run into the trap of trying to like run away from immediate pain. Yeah. Whereas the charot it doesn't talk it says his soul become fab but it doesn't talk about like what his soul is doing so maybe like right. what he's doing is he's recognizing that the desire he's like kind of saying the desires are not what's important but like what's important is being diligent and like action and then based on that action you'll get the results whereas since the lazy person is focusing mm. on his desires it's not going to take him anywhere because then he's just going to fall into the laziness trap 
Okay, so I, well, the, the move that I like that you're making, which I have to just talk it out in my own language here, is that the uh, nefesh of the atel, what is it doing? It's doing taiva, right? It's being misavet. That's the only action here. Whereas, as I was pointing out, the nefesh of the harut is not being described as doing stuff, but he must be doing action because that's how you, it gets fatty, right? Uh, or is it successful. Um, yeah, okay, so I like that. What, do, what, what was not satisfying to me? I still feel like it's not clicking in terms of the unity of the idea. Why not? I mean, I, don't, I like that. Okay. Because, like, Try saying it again. I mean, yeah. I mean, it seems like from from what I understand, from what I'm saying is that the, like you know, like the the, um, the first half of the past was focusing on the lazy individual in terms of his taiva, right? Mm -hmm. Which in reality he should be focusing on his you know um, activity. Yeah. Right. But the second half of the past was referring to the. Uh, to the action, which is already which is already a step beyond that. I mean, he needs to the lazy person needs to break that barrier in order to start doing activity. Versus mm -hmm. the second half, the second guy is you know he's already past that. He's already past that you know barrier, right. which is ultimately okay. okay. So, so the second half is like showing you the outcome, but not the uh, yeah. Outcome. Okay, can, can I try a an idea that might I can't tell if this is a further development of this idea or if it's a different idea, which is like this is. One of the, um, because the Atel is, has Taiva and is blocked by his, his laziness, he is locked into this like very um, immediate short-term focus. He can't even get to the point where he's looking long-term because any move he makes is going to, is going to involve seeing that there's immediate pain involved, you know? So what that does is it's going, so in addition to the conflict that he has, uh, from not getting what he wants, he can't engage in the entire realm of action that is based on long-term benefits. Yeah. So the Haruts, though, like you said, has broken past that barrier, and that's what allows him to act. In other words, what I'm saying here is that that the... Hold on. I'm trying to state this in a way that's not obvious. I know what you mean. I see, I see that. Yeah, I mean, let me just try standing one more time and see if this, this works out. Clearly, the, the, the Harutz is focused on the long term and the Atzel is focused on the short term. But what I'm trying to say here is that the entire, like, you know how when you have, like, a uh, uh, a demo version of, like, a, a, a game or something like that, and, like, it gives you access to certain, like, beginning levels, and then the rest are, like, locked until you, like, pay for the, uh, you know, for the, for the subscription or whatever, you know? So it's like the whole realm of long-term activity is just locked to the Atel, you know? And therefore he, he can't operate there. So it, it's a double whammy. He can't get the long-term benefits and he's stuck in a realm where he can't even get the short-term pleasure because of his, uh, his laziness, you know? Whereas the, the, the Haruts, because he's willing to forego immediate pleasure and he's willing to endure immediate pain, then it opens up this whole realm of long-term planning. And long-term planning is the only way you become Tedushan. Tedushan means you've like accumulated a quantitative slash qualitative level of success. You can't do that if you're only operating in the short term. Like the ball Taiba doesn't get Tedushan and neither does the, uh, the Atzel because there's nothing that's ever gonna accumulate. The Atel doesn't accumulate because he doesn't get anything. The Baltaiva doesn't accumulate because he just consumes all the immediate stuff. It's like, you know, the, the guy, you know, the, the guy who um, has a construction worker job, not to not construction workers, but then immediately after work, just goes straight to the bar and like, you know, like spends his paycheck on that, you know, like it's just nothing will accumulate, you know. Or to the like that. Yeah, they yeah. Get sad. They get the paycheck. They're like, "Oh, I'm gonna go get pills." And yeah, right, and right. I know. Yeah, something's lacking. So let's just, in the interest of time, yeah, you want to say? Just okay, according to, I guess, everything we were saying. Yeah. In the second half. I don't see as we are explaining in Nefesh as the animal part. I don't really see how that fits into any of what we were saying. Well, well so what we're saying yeah. here is, so I, I can confidently say it for the first half. We'll see what happens in the second half that it that Atzlus is a quality of the animalistic part of you, the inability to endure uh, immediate pain, right? So if you've trained the animalistic part of you to recoil from immediate pain and frustration, then you're going to have this problem. Whereas if you've trained your animal soul to be able to endure immediate pain, that's what unlocks the whole realm of diligence and long-term success. So it is a quality of the, of the animalistic part. You know, we're, we're, for example, just to contrast this with a different model, I think if you ask, if you look at the Western, I, I keep going the Western, if you look at like our society's model of, um, of laziness, they view it as a moral failing. 
you know, like a character defect, not a uh, uh, something residing in instinctual, you know? Yeah. Like you, you're just not motivated enough or you don't care enough. That's not how Michelet views it. Yeah. What I've been thinking about it is like, if you have like, like, even like two animals, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them is like, I don't want to go hunt because it's going to take energy and it's going to be difficult. And the other one goes, well, if you don't hunt, then you're going to die. Like, that's kind of like how I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Like, even within the animal, like, like world, like, it's funny about also, like, a, something that's kind of counterintuitive that I just thought of is that it seems like laziness in this sense from an animalistic perspective is only possible on a human. Yeah. Because, like, an animal is, is never going to go, I'm hungry, but I'm not going to go hunt right. because I'm like, I don't want to go into that through that through that pain. It's just going to go do it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the uh, right. That, that's the um, I, I know I've quoted this many times, but like the uh, the Ayn Rand quote that uh, uh, you have one fundamental choice to either be a rational human or a suicidal animal. Right. You know, meaning animals are not suicidal, right. right? But if you're a human and you're you're not being rational, then you are actually like killing yourself in the sense that you're not going to be able to t t take care of your basic needs. Yeah, I have I have an, an additional point to add on. Sure. Okay, I think there I think there are three people. Okay. There's three different categories. Here. Yeah. There's a lazy person, then there's like a neutral guy. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a proper individual. Okay. You know, I think what what's interesting is the puzzle gets highlighted fat. Yeah. It seems a little, you know extreme in a way then it could have used another term which is just okay a normal lifestyle yeah right a diligent person could could have right you know because that would have also right you know, he'll get his needs right, right. Yeah. Needs yeah. Just, just, yeah yeah fat is excess so maybe you can say that and you, so something you said that you know the construction guy just goes to the bar yeah. right after work yeah but in reality like there, there's a guy, there's a lazy person who just doesn't do anything, yeah. right, for even to satisfy his tithes. Yeah. But there's then there's an individual who just does what he's supposed to do just to just, just to, to satisfy what what his desires are. But then there's another level where you take it to the extreme so you can really be prosperous, which is which, yeah. which de demands more of a work ethic or okay. whatever it is. What that has to do with Taiba. I'm not really sure. Well, I, I think we need but. to develop this idea because I think Ariel's answering the question that we didn't list, but we always ask, which is who's the puzzle directed towards? So this is not directed towards, so this might be directed towards the lazy person, right? <clears throat> it doesn't, the, the, the Harus does not need to hear this. So this could be directed towards someone who's in the middle, who, again, I think most of us are in the middle in the sense that we are prone to laziness in certain areas, but have the capacity, but also have tithes, you know, and want to like satisfy them and be successful, you know? So like, um, so, uh, so this, so that's why Shlomo is like, um, not just stating the second half in terms of meeting your basic needs It's saying, no, you could go way beyond your basic needs and become and flourish and become successful or like luxuriant as Oliver said. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how it relates to Taiva is that Taiva, Taiva, it's not that the fat, you know, the prosperous guy will have more Taiva. Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, I have more Taiva than we won't process. It's more of, it's, it's a stepping stone. It's like yeah. you can use it for, I think that I think the non obvious point is you can use Taiva for for good to propel you yeah. to this, but it's also yeah. a mentality, it's also a mindset, so work ethic as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think here's the thing. I, the only thing I, I want to just because it's diluting the idea, I don't want to use the word work ethic. Oh, that's that's, kind of that's contrary to the definition of diligence we're saying. Initially, you use diligence as a form of chachma as a form of long-term thinking, whereas work, work, well, because, but do you see why? Work yeah, ethic. Exactly. Work, the Puritan work ethic. Yeah, yeah, and that, that, the same way I said that, like, society views laziness as, like, a lack of motivation, that's not how Shlomo is viewing it. Laziness is a form of foolishness. Where right, you, I got it. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. A combination, a combination of Taiva with Kachma will yield um, prosperous yeah and, whatever. and here's and yeah the finish the finish is that you have to have platform because you can it's like you can have a um you know you could overcome your desires with with uh, and not be lazy without Kachma, but that will only get you to like the yeah step, there's a ceiling right but if you use Kachma and if you use taiva then it'll break through that okay ceiling. so i just want to add one more nuance to that which is that the other thing is we've said that taiva means uh, immediate pleasure but in order to be a Haruts, you're going to have to delay your immediate pleasure. So not only will you become successful, but if you constantly delay your immediate pleasure, you're going to change your animalistic nature to like not be addicted to immediate pleasure anymore. So you'll get the results and you'll also get the, the perfections, which make you not caught up in the world of Taiva anymore. 
you know, even though it starts off that way, like the guy who starts off wants to make a, wants to be a millionaire so that he could afford all of his titles. But in the process of like working towards that, he has to like save money and he has to like not spend impulsively or whatever, you know, and then he's going to, by the time he gets to that goal, he won't be just like, like splurging on stuff that is for immediate pleasures. Yeah. Okay. Five minutes remaining. Let's just do one of the Mafarshim. Uh, uh, oh, did I, hold on. I did send this to myself, didn't I? Where did I put it? Hold on. Um, uh, Mishle. Uh, hold on. I actually really do it. I remember I had the window open during shop, which was very nice. Yeah. Because it was not that high. <laughs> okay. Um, Rabini Yonah says, Miss Ava the Ain Nafsho Atzel. Okay, we didn't ask that question, what? right? It doesn't say he, uh, the Nefesh Atzel desires and has nothing. Lakach Pirusho Misha Miss Ava Nafsho. Oh, that's weird. Misha Miss Ava Nafsho the Ain. Someone whose whose soul desires and has nothing, you can know that he is a lazy person. Someone who says, I have toiled and uh and not found, don't believe him, as Khazal say. So he's he's learning this. Okay, so he's we translated it as the lazy person's soul lust and there is nothing, but Rabbeinu Yona translates it as if a person lusts and has a uh, person's sorry person's soul lusts and has nothing that person is la uh, uh, is lazy so he's giving us like a litmus test for defining who a lazy person is let's just see if that's the end of his commentary or if he says more <clears throat> it'd be weird if that's all he says that's all he says okay well, it's obvious, of course. <laughs> so what are we gaining from that uh, let, you know, sorry, I'm just gonna let's, let's go to uh, Miri's gonna be way too long. Let's look at the David. Nafsho Atel, Nafsho Shal Atel, the soul of a lazy person, he tis ave lechol the in law. He desires everything and doesn't have anything. He lerov absolusa lo yasi dawar. Due to his abundant laziness, he will not attain anything. While nefesh has reason to do shan, he has sigo tavas and barov has reasons. That's like what we're saying. Okay, L let's let's summarize what we're saying here just to get a, 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 a final formulation here. So who is confident that they can say our idea in one, like one or two sentences? Which idea? I think, it, I think we've been working on one approach. Uh, yeah, you should do it. Because, you know, you should wrap it up. You know, it's your shit. It's your last <laughs> five minutes. Okay, let's see. Let, let, let's see what we, uh, let's see if I can pull this off here. Okay, so we're saying that. Prepare to help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 it means a lot. <laughs> it means a lot that you taught us. Yeah. Oh. All right, we don't want to get uh, into, into that right now. All right, um, you can ask me to rebuke you later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Monday night reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. If anyone wants to listen to the rebukes of Ariel, uh, then oh, listen yeah, to the Monday night here. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So what we're saying here is like this: laziness is the inability to tolerate immediate pain and frustration. Right or the compulsive need to avoid all immediate pain and frustration. What that's going to do is it's going to prevent you from getting any pleasure in the immediate, because all immediate pleasures involve exerting yourself to some extent. But not only that, so not only are you going to not get any immediate pleasures, it's going to cut you off from the realm of prosperity. Okay, the the harutz, the guy who's diligent, is the guy who is willing to break through that barrier of enduring immediate pain and also willing to forego immediate pleasure. And that's going to open up the whole realm of action that leads to long-term planning, which will satisfy his desires in the, in, in, in the future. You know, Now, the problem is that this seems obvious. Yeah. I mean, it's not obvious. to If this was the first puzzle we did this week about laziness, it would not be obvious, right? Because this is a chiddish in terms of what the definition of laziness is. But given what we've done yesterday, and given the other two psukim that we've done earlier in the year uh, or last year that I read, this seems obvious. So what's the finish? That's what we're remaining with. <laughs> so can you just say it one more time? Because I thought that we... Yeah. yeah, maybe I'm just like missing the finish. Maybe it's like right under my nose, right? But uh, we're saying that laziness is the inability to, uh, is, is compulsive need to avoid immediate pain and, uh, and frustration. That's going to have two effects. One is it's going to prevent you from fulfilling your immediate desires. Two is it's going to block you categorically from long-term prosperity. Yeah, but 
I mean, what about the point about? Oh, the Chiddush I thought was saying yeah, that, that, that you can uh, link uh, Taiba and Chachma. Well, right. And so then I'll say the second half. The second half is that the guy who is not lazy, so it's going to allow him access to immediate pleasures, but because it, maybe this is the fetish, because it opens up the realm of long-term uh, investment of, uh, of, uh, of like work. So then he'll realize I'm going to get more of my type is satisfied if I go to future success. And in doing so, he's going to make himself someone who is not even interested in fulfilling his immediate desires. Like by the time he gets to that state, by the, you know, Warren Buffett is not just sitting there like, like, you know, uh, gobbling caviar, right? If you look at Warren Buffett, who is, is able to like, you know, focus on the long term, he has made all this money, but he, he is not caught up in the world of immediate taivas anymore, you know? Yeah. So I, I think to add on to what you just said about Warren Buffett, yeah. but who you say that the Kiddush is that we were saying before that the taiva will, is a, is a propellant, you know, that can get you to Chachma and you can do what you need to do purely for Chachma. Yeah. Oh, that's the fetish. Now, now the, I think the fetish is in, is in the transition between the second level and the third level. Whereas yeah. if you're just working just to satisfy your tivas, yeah, then like you really didn't, you really didn't like you 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 got rid of the laziness, right? But the fetish is in the transition. Yeah, yeah, I definitely hear that. I think it needs to be said better. I don't, I don't think we have the full idea yet, but uh, but I, I think this is the realm of the idea. So I think we got like 90 percent of the way. All right, let's uh, let's. Tomorrow? <laughs> no, let's talk. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. You give me a ride to the airport after honey. Oh, really? Okay. All right. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Wow. I got I got what I wanted. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Good. Good. All right. The best kind of. Tra- I'm not profiting from Torah though, but uh, <laughs> we're we're just gonna have an extra learning time. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Been a good year. Yeah, we'll sort of thanks thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a good day. Um,